Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Angela. How are you, teacher? Very good. Thank you for asking. Very, very good. What about you guys? You doing good? Very good, teacher. Very good, too. Okay, excellent. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Let me just put something here. And we're going to start. I see Jennifer Abidail and Neida, Nancy, Nelson, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Oh, my camera, my camera, my camera. Okay. Very good, everyone. Hi. No. Good to know. Uh, we're going to start here with the class, right? Uh, we have to wait for the others a little bit more and then we start. Vamos a esperar por sus compañeros unos dos minutitos más y luego comenzamos con la clase, con la videoconferencia número cinco. It's vocabulary practice, práctica de vocabulario. That's what we're going to do. Right. And let's see who else. So, Neida. Hello, Neida. Hello. <laughs> hello, 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 Neida. How are you? Good? Fine. Fine. Very good. Let me just open here. Okay. Let me see who else is here. Only you six. Claudia, hi Claudia. Y Nelson, where is Nelson? Se fue. Azalia. Hello Azalia. Hello Nelson. ¿Por qué se va Nelson? No se vaya. Ok. So, we are going to start with today's class with the people that we have. Vamos a comenzar con los que tenemos por honor al tiempo y a la puntualidad. ¿Verdad? Vamos a comenzar acá. And well, Buenas let me... Good, good evening, Asalia. Hello. I am going to start here by sharing my computer. Right. We start with the class. Today is Inglés Corporativo. Right, National English for Work Program, Module 1. Right, and we have the competences. Right, we have four competences. Se supone que eso es lo que hemos hecho durante toda la semana. ¿Verdad? Y me va a ayudar a leer, por favor, as we always do. Claudia, the first bullet. Right, Azalia, the second bullet. Eneida, you go with the third one. And Abidail, go with the last one. Okay, let's start. Talk about what I do at my workplace and to say my occupation. Okay, very good. Talk about what me and other people do in different workplace and say... And and say? And say our occupation. Our occupation is very good. Oh. And, and the third one? Has author about the names or their, their, their occupation names. Uh -huh. in their workplace. Okay, very good. And the last one? No, me. Uh, Abidail. Uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> Rick Enrique, the spellings of, of May, like May, and other information. And other information. Very good. 
Now that's what we have, right? And we are in video conference number cinco, vocabulary practice, right? Vocabulary practice. And we're going to do something today. First thing here is to remember. Remember, right? Remember, well, remember unit one, right? That's what we're going to do. Como vamos a hacer un, una práctica de vocabulario, right? This here, remember unit one. I need you to tell me, right? I need you to tell me what are the things or the topics or anything that you remember about the class that we have seen during this week one, right? What are the topics that we remember, right? ¿Se recuerdan qué significa remember? Hello, Alfonso. Hello, Emerson. Recuerda. Diana, hi. Hi, teacher. Huh? Recuerda, Recuerda, exactly. Very good. Now, tell me, what do you remember from week one? Dígame qué, qué temas se recuerdan, qué hicimos. No. Uh -huh. Occupation. Occupation. Occupations. Okay, very good. Occupations, very good. Another one, another person. What else? Only occupations? Um, Only occupations? What else? What else did we do? Uh, manager. Okay, we learned the word manager. Secretary, truck driver, supervisor, okay. floor manager, maintenance. Okay, that's the vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary. Very good. Vocabulary. Let me see here. Claudia says how to use the verb be. Very good. That's another one. How to use the verb be. Very good. Another person. What else did we see? What else? Solo esas tres cosas vimos en la semana. Let's see. The alphabet. El verbo vi, el verbo vi también lo vimos. Alphabet. Afirma. Okay. Afirma. The verb B. Negative. Mm -hmm. The verb B. What else? Oh, the verb B in negative. Okay, very good. The verb B in negative. Afirma. In negative and affirmative. Okay in affirmative. Okay, what else? What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Practice of conversation. Practice conversations. Very good. Practice of conversation. Very good. We Okay, practice of conversations. Very good. Here we have contractions and possessives. Okay, very good. Contractions, possessives, adjectives. Okay, very good. What else do we have here in the chat? Practice the spelling. Okay, that's good. Very good. Practice the spelling. The spelling of what? The spelling of words. Right, the spelling of words. Very good. Okay, what else? Is that it? Yes? So, so? Cambiando de tema. What else? Is that it? We saw occupations, vocabulary, the use of verb alphabet, the verbs in negative and affirmative. What else did we see about the verb be? What do you remember from the verb be? What else? Only affirmatives and negatives? Questions. Questions. Very good. Very good. Questions with the verb be. Okay. Questions with the verb be. Look at all the things that we have worked with all the practice that we have done. Todo eso lo hemos practicado, lo hemos visto. Very good, very good. And pretty much, this is week number one. Estos, esto que nos recordamos, 
corresponde a los objetivos que leyeron al inicio de la clase. ¿Verdad, aquí, mi amor? Okay, this is what connects with the information we have seen during the class, right? Okay, we need to practice today, right? We need to practice today with some other things. And the first one, we need to, well, we practiced with this conversation yesterday. I think we're going to practice something else here. Give me a moment. Okay, we are going to recall from yesterday, right? We are going to recall from yesterday how to make questions, right? Yesterday we were working with how to make questions and today, today, do you remember that we practiced this yesterday? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. So what are we going to do today? With the practice of questions, right? And at the beginning of the class, Eneida mentioned some occupations. She mentioned truck driver, supervisor, manager, uh, floor manager, secretary. Now, what are we going to do? Right now, we are going to make simple questions. Okay, for example, is Claudia a truck driver? Right, what could be the answer for that? If we make this question, is Claudia a truck driver? I'm gonna put it here on the computer. Claudia, a truck driver. What is one answer that you can give, Angie? Excuse me, teacher. What if I answer, is Claudia a truck driver? No. Uh, no. No what? Okay, what's the? No, the no. Is she's? She, she. She, uh -huh. she what? She is, she's not. To a, uh, to a short answer. Right now we are with short answers. Is, mm -hmm. She's not. No, she is. She is not. How do you contract is not? She, she's. She isn't. She isn't. Very she good. Isn't. No, she isn't. Okay. And what could be a positive answer in here? An affirmative. Yes, she Easy. She isn't. She isn't. Angie? Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, si es afirmativa. Yeah. Uh, she is. Yes, she is. Very good. Yes, yes. she is. Now, yes, we are going is. to do a writing practice. Right? Writing practice. In this writing practice, Right. What we're going to do is that we are going to make the question right here. We're going to make the question and we are going to give the two answers, right? This is the example, right? So what you are going to do is that you are going to write four more questions, right? Four more questions. They have to be affirmative or negatives right here like this, right? because we are practicing. Vamos a escribir las cuatro preguntas con su pre respuesta positive and negative, right? Because we want to practice, right? That's what we want to do, we want to practice. So that's why we're going to make four questions, okay? Now, each question is going to have two answers. Is that clear? Um, is that clear? So, so. Dos, dos. Uh -huh, okay. Angie, yes. Uh, una y las dos exactly, very good. And negative and affirmative. And affirmative and negative, yes. Affirmative. Okay. Affirmative and negative. Very good. Angie, very good, Nancy. 
for questions. Uh, Claudia, let's start writing in English. You know how to say questions. For questions okay. with answers, positive and negative. In the chat, teacher. No. Okay. We are going to do that in groups right now. In groups. But ah, before okay. that, before okay. that, I need to call the attendance. Okay? Primero vamos con la, con la asistencia. I'm going to stop sharing. Can you please take a screenshot of the of the example? Take a screenshot of the example. Please. Did you take the screenshot? The screenshot? Ah, okay, 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 okay. No, me please, teacher. Okay. Now. Yes. We are going to continue here. Let me show you here my computer and very good, very good. Los quiero felicitar casi todos. Ya ponemos el nombre completo cuando nos eh, incorporamos a la clase. Muy bien, muy bien. Veamos ahora. Thank you. Veamos hoy. Give me a moment. I need you to please turn on your camera, Nelson, if you can, please. Es que tengo problemas con el internet y, y estaba tratando de configurarle algo. Okay. Ok, solo para la asistencia por un momento, eh, Nelson. Eh, Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Presente. Azalia Melanie Guardado por ti. Presente. Claudia Yanet Ramos de Hernández. Presente. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Presente. Eneida Yasmín Hernández Cruz. Present. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Present. Franco Damián Vázquez. Franco Damián Vázquez. Present. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Mm -hmm. Leida Azucena Sorto. Mm -hmm. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Nancy María. Nancy María. Lo siento, Nancy, tiene que contestar. Nancy me Ah, ok. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Nelson Bryan. Nelson Bryan. Nelson Bryan Pereira Maravilla. Present. Thank you. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. <coughs> Norma Carolina. Okay. Pedrina Ileana Gómez Ortega. Present. Ricardo Gabriel Barenga Ventura. Ricardo Gabriel. Sandra Gradis Méndez de Barahona. Sandra Gladys. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Present, Daniel Alfo. Daniel Antonio García Cortés. Daniel Antonio García Cortés. J. 
José Alfonso Palma. Present. Okay, thank you so much. So let's continue now. We are going to continue here. Let me show you, well, we are going to create those groups right now. We're going to work in groups of three, I think. And let's start working here. Just groups of three, okay, groups of three. We're going to work together, right? And you are going to have right here, like around five minutes to complete the activity. Five minutes for you to complete the activity, right? And then we're going to start working. Please join your groups. Connect to your group, connect to your group. Join, join, join. Very good. Start choosing your group, please. Tres. Ah, okay. Y tenemos que iniciar a hacer las preguntas. Exactly, thank you. Okay. Any, any questions about the activity? Do you have questions? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta acerca de la actividad? Eh, es la misma pregunta que puso, como is a cloud a truck driver. Yeah, is she a truck, is cloud a truck driver? Is Nancy a secretary? Right. Are you a teacher and so on? Using the verb. Are they, are they, are we, and so on. Very good. Okay. See you in a moment. Okay, anything else? Any questions? Do you have a question? No, teacher, es que las, bueno, en mi caso las estoy escribiendo. Okay. Please. Okay, try to work with your group, right, so you can share the information. Okay. Trabajemos en equipo para crearlas. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, He's a teacher. Um, y luego positivo one affirmative one negative mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you can make questions with they with we are you, are you, are you carlos are you carlos exactly very good it, but write the, write the questions cool. write them Escríbanos, por favor. Escríbanos, por favor. Ok. Sí, ya, ya le escribí esto. Arju Carlos. Ok, Francis. La negativa, Francis. Ahorita. Ah, pues no, he is, ¿verdad? Hello. Ajá. Uh -huh. No. Hello. Do you have any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Vale? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Eh, no. eh, solo la, era practicar las preguntas que teníamos o era realizar las preguntas. Ah, van a escribir las preguntas. Writing, you're going to write the question. And the answers. Preguntas y respuestas. Ah, ok. Gracias. Okay. Very Gracias. Sí. Deme un ejemplo. ¿Quieres escuchar? Podría ser... Is Nelson a supervisor? Is Nelson a supervisor? Very good. Sí. What are the possible answers, Pedrina? 
Eh, she is a secretary. No. Is Nelson a supervisor? Ah, is Nelson a supervisor. Ajá, esa es la pregunta. ¿Cuál es la respuesta es la corta? Pregunta, entonces. ¿Cuál es la entonces, respuesta corta? La respuesta corta es his, his, Nelson. No. No, no, his. Usted me está haciendo una oración completa. Te le voy a poner acá. Le pregunto. Ah, la ahí. contratada. Exacto. Is Nelson a supervisor? Esa es la pregunta. Is Nelson a supervisor? ¿Cuál es la respuesta corta? Eh, is not supervisor. No. Ok. Empezamos la respuesta corta, Ileana, con yes. Uh -huh. Yes, he's supervisor. Yes, he is. Ok. Yes, he is. Ahí se uh -huh. queda. No mencionamos supervisor porque son respuestas cortas. Si usted, uh -huh. ay, perdón, tengo alergia. Si usted menciona supervisor, uh -huh. ya es una respuesta larga. Larga. Exacto. Okay. ¿Cuál okay. sería la respuesta corta? No. No. He is. No. He is. Ok. No, he is. Perdón, chicas. No, he isn't. Exacto. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Uh -huh. Así son, simples. Ajá, no, he is. Ajá, no yeah. vamos a inventar nada más. Así la vamos a dejar. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Very good. I will go to another chat. Let me know if you have a question, ¿ok? Ok. Azalia, ¿qué hace solita? Quedé solita. Sí. ¿Qué le pasó a Francis? Se fue. Se fue. Te voy a poner en otro equipo, ¿ok? Porque, ah, no, ya nos quedan 20 segundos, ya no. Ya, ya nos vamos. Sí. Pero escribió algún ejemplo. Uh, solamente, <coughs> o sea, empecé con Arju Carlos, pero ya él no me contestó y ahí se salió. Ok, ¿cuál sería la respuesta eh, de Arju Carlos? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Ok, no, he isn't, o yes, he is. Uh -huh. He is. Okay. Yes, yes, he is. He is eh, luego, is he a doctor? No, he is. A, no, he is he dice, pero no puede ser now. Diga no. No. Porque no, now es ahora. Is, um, uh -huh. sí. No. No. Oh. He is. He is. He isn't. Very good. Yes. Vámonos. Yes, uh -huh. he is. Yes, he is. Very good. Vámonos con todos los demás ahorita, por favor. Ok. Vámonos, vámonos. Ok. So, we are going to share right now one of the questions that you have created, right? We're going to go one by one checking the questions that you have created. In the chat, mm -hmm. in the chat, we are going to use the chat to type, to okay. type the one question, okay. one question and the two answers, okay? So okay. let's start, everyone. It's, and so everyone can see the chat, right? And I'm gonna show you here the chat, so maybe you can see it. Can you see yourself? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. Se miran ustedes mismos, ¿verdad? Okay. Ouch. Okay. No veo respuestas en el chat. No estoy viendo nada. Let's start. We're going to use the chat right now to get the answers. No answers? No answers? Ni una respuesta en el chat? So, are you Emily? Are you Rafael? Okay, are we are we as students? Are we as students? 
or are we students, Nelson? Check that sentence. Is Jose a supervisor? Is Nancy a nurse? Very good. What else? Is he a doctor? Very good, Asalia. Is Emerson a manager? Is she Carolina? Is Nelson drivers? Maybe, Jose, is Nelson a driver? Is Nelson a driver, maybe? No, she isn't, okay. Is Nelson? A driver. Is Luz a secretary? Okay, don't forget, Ileana, the question mark at the end. El signo de puntuación al final. El signo de interrogación. Va uno al final, Ileana. Is Luz a secretary? Very good. Are they singers? Very good. Norma Carolina, I don't see your examples. Is Natalia a singer? Norma Carolina, your examples? Okay, yes, he is, no, he isn't. No, he isn't. Are we truck drivers? Very good. Are you? Angela, no los escriba solo para mí, escríbalos para todos. No me los mandes solo a mí, escríbalos que todos los puedan ver. No, he isn't, yes, he is. Are we truck drivers? Are your parents here? No, I don't think so. Norma Carolina, your examples. Norma Carolina, sus ejemplos, por favor. Are you a social worker? Nice example. Is Ashley a nurse? Okay, very good. Very good. Is he your brother? Uh huh. Abidail, did you write your example? <coughs> Abidail, I don't see your examples. Mm -hmm. No, they aren't. They are students. Is Emerson a manager? Very good. Okay, very good. So if you look at this, we have several ways of writing questions, right? Tenemos muchas formas o muchas opciones para escribir una respuesta corta. Para escribir respuestas cortas, right? Is Mario your teacher? No, he's not my teacher. Is Claudia a secretary? Yes, she is. No, she is. Nelson, always, always check your spelling okay is claudia a secretary very good now give me a moment is claudia a secretary Blah. okay very good now we're going to stop here is nancy your nurse no she's not my nurse now we are going to see here i'm going to close the the chat Give me a second. And let's pay attention, okay? Let's pay attention. Here, hay cosas que tenemos que tomar en cuenta cuando, ahora ya sabemos la estructura, ¿verdad? Is one a maintenance? Very good, Abigail. Very good. Are we students? No, we aren't. Oh, yes, we are. Very good, Angela. Excellent example. Now, let, let's pay attention. Let's pay attention. Can you see the white screen? Pueden ver la pantalla en blanco? Yes. Okay. Chip. So, yes. Ya saben ustedes. Yes. You already know the structure of the question. Ya saben la estructura de las oraciones, vamos y vamos el uh, subject al inicio, subject Luego va el verbo, ver, plus complement. Okay. ok. 
this is, this is the regular way of writing sentences, subject, verb, complement. That is the basic way for you to write a sentence in English, okay? Subject, verb, complement. Remember that. This is the formula, right? Formula for a sentence, right? Tell a formula más básica. Subject, verb, complement. Three things. Now, you will say, Sylvia, what do you mean subject, verb, complement? For example, we can say, Jennifer, subject, there is complement a student, right? Jennifer is a student, subject, verb, complement. Is that clear? ¿Se entiende? Sí, okay, very good. Ahora, cuando estamos escribiendo oraciones, hay cosas básicas que tenemos que recordar. Aparte de la estructura, que es la que ya conocemos, tenemos que tomar en cuenta que existe también un, algo que se debe usar al inicio de la oración. Okay, so if we have a sentence, for example, uh, we're going to have the sentence, Mary is a teacher. <clears throat> That's the sentence. The elements that this sentence is going to have are very simple. We are going to have, at the beginning, we are going to have capital letter. Capital letter. Right? And at the end, we're going to have a period. Right? La oración, la oración en inglés, Siempre al inicio va a tener un capital letter, que es una letra mayúscula, y al final vamos a tener un punto. En este caso, cuando hablamos de gramática, vamos a llamarle period. P-E-R-I-O-G. Period. Mary is a teacher. Right? This is the structure of the, of the sentence. Now tell me, José Alfonso. In this sentence, Mary is a teacher. What is the subject? What is the subject? Huh? Mary. Mary. Mary, very good. Mary, subject, very good. What is the verb, Norma? Is. Yes. Norma, what is the verb? Teacher, ¿me escucha? Yes. yes. Norma okay. Carolina, what is the verb? <clears throat> okay. Angie, what is the verb of this sentence? El verbo de la oración is el be. Is. Very good. Is the verb be. Very good. Is the conjugation of the verb be. Excellent job, Angie. Very good. Okay. Give me a moment, Angie. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. <laughs> Nancy, what is the complement of the sentence? Nancy? Nancy Maria Serrano? What is the complement of the sentence? Okay, Emerson, what is the complement of the sentence? Teacher. Only teacher? Nelson says no. Uh -huh. no. What is it? A teacher. A teacher. A teacher. Very good. A teacher. Okay, very good. Mary is a teacher. Very good. And this is these are things that we need to remember. 
right? Capital letter at the beginning, a period at the end. If it's a question, if it's a question, for example, are you students? We always put capital letter and at the end we put a question mark, right? This is called question mark. Signo de pregunta, question mark, right? Question mark, as you say, So those are the things that we need to remember. Is this part clear? Queda clara esta parte? Yes. Sí? Yes, okay. teacher. Yes. Very good. Do you have a question? Any no. questions? Any questions? No, no questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, so let's continue. My pregunta sigamos. Okay. Now we are going to continue here and I would like to listen to some of the examples, right? We are going to listen to some of the some of more practice here, right? Okay. We have a conversation. Take a look at my conversation here. And I am sorry, I'm gonna put you on mute. Okay. Now, with these conversations that we have, right? Claudia, can you please read the instruction? Complete and practice the conversation with a new classmate using your own names and information in the guide. Continue with the conversation in your own way. Continue the conversation in your own way. Very good. So this is what we're going to do, right? We are going to see the possible answers that we can give. For example, if I say, excuse me, are you? What can I put here in this space? What would be, what could be a possible answer? Susan. Okay, are you Susan? Okay, very good. Are you Susan? Very good. No, I'm not. I am. No, I am, no. I am Acelia. I am Acelia. Okay, I am Acelia. Acelia. Okay, I am Acelia. That's? That's... Um... No sé si es mi apellido. Uh, no, here you, no. you don't have to put this. Teacher. What you, yes? Y solo pueden ser nombres o también pueden ser profesiones. No, es esta es una opción. Profesión es, también. Sí, profesión. Exacto. Puede ser una profesión. Esta es una opción de lo que me están diciendo. ¿Cómo sería si ponemos una profesión acá? A ver, cuéntenme. Excuse me, are you? Nelson? Are you supervisor? Are you supervisor? Are you supervisor? No, I'm not. I'm... I am floor manager. I am floor manager. Okay. What else can we put here? Pero iría en la siguiente parte, ¿qué iría? ¿Y qué es usted que pondría ahí? Eh, yo pienso que sería, eh, por ejemplo, si dice el first name, that's my first name. No sé si está correcto. It could be that way, but then we have this question. Where? What do you think the meaning of where is? ¿Qué creen que significa la palabra o la, eh, bueno, la pregunta where? Donde. Donde. Very good. Donde. Where is talking about locations, right? I am a floor manager, right? So here, si está preguntando una locación, ¿qué debería ir aquí? Ajá. What do you think it could be in there? So, aquí ya le está preguntando así, where? ¿En dónde? ¿Qué debería ir aquí? Okay, I'm not. I'm a floor manager. 
that's in, we can say that's in San Marcos. Yo viví en San Marcos un tiempo. That's in San Marcos. Where? Feo ahí. Yeah. Where? <laughs> right over there. Right? Right over there. Okay? Right over there. Right over there significa ah, okay. que el lugar está ahí. Ustedes lo pueden ver. Right? O está, por ejemplo, digamos, tenemos un mapa eh, o tenemos mm. algo que no, nos diga visualmente que lo podamos observar. Vamos a decir, right over there. Right? Pero no over. Que over there. Over there. Right over there. For example, I can ask you, I can ask you in your house right now. Let uh -huh. me see. Vamos a ver ese right over there. Eh, Claudia, where is your TV? Todos vean la cámara de Claudia. Where is your TV? Claudia se da la vuelta. Right? She says right over there. Right over there. Right, right. Oh, usted solo ve mi pared aquí. She will say right over there. Right? Or I can say, I can ask, no tienen nada, ustedes están igual que yo. No les mire, estoy medio choca. Right? We can ask, for example, Iliana, where is the window? Where is the window? ¿Dónde está la ventana? Where is the window? Right over there. En vez de decir aquí, right? Right over there. Here. Right? Or oh, you can say, to... yes, but right now we are learning right over there. Ahorita estamos aprendiendo esa frase en específico. Right over there. Sus opciones son okay. válidas. Pero vamos a poner right over there. Right? Where is the door, Angie? Right over there. Right over there. Okay. Right over there. Right Just over there. Agree. Where is the charger, Nelson? Where is your cell phone charger? Where is the charger? <laughs> right over there. Look at back next to you. Right? right over there. Very good. Very good. <laughs> so that's a way that we say, uh, I'm not, I'm a floor manager. That's in San Marcos. Where? Right over there. And are you? Then we continue. And are you a supervisor? Yes, I am. And then you are going to create other questions for the rest of the conversation. Is that clear what we're going to do? ¿Se entiende más o menos que vamos a trabajar? Vamos a completar la, 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 la conversación con el poquito vocabulario que hemos aprendido. Okay, that's what we are going to do. Now, vamos a enfocarnos palabras nuevas en esta conversación que tenemos que recordar. Excuse me. Right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Muchos lo utilizan que piensan que solo es cuando va, va uno pasando, ¿verdad? Para pedir permiso. Mm -hmm. Pero también se utiliza para llamar la atención. Por ejemplo, yo veo que Claudia está haciendo otra cosa. Excuse me, Claudia. Can you pay attention? Right. Excuse me, Emerson. Listen to me. Right. Excuse me helps you to call the attention. Les ayuda para llamar la atención, right? To cut the attention of someone. That's why you're going to use excuse me too. No solo para pedir permiso, que a veces van para decir, excuse me, excuse me, no. O para entrar en algún lugar. Sí sirve, pero no es la única función. También si alguien, ustedes están, ¿qué? Están trabajando y alguien está así, en el teléfono, right? Excuse me. I'm talking to you, right? Estoy hablando contigo, con mi atención, right? Disculpe, esa podría ser una opción. Very good, Azalia. Disculpa, disculpa, estoy hablando contigo, con mi atención, right? So, is it clear what we're going to do? Vamos a completar una conversación pequeñita, right? And yes. we are going to share the conversation. You are going to write the conversation and you're going to practice the conversation with your partner, right? That's what we're working with. After 10 minutes, we come back here.
Después de 10 minutos regresamos. Right? Ya todos tienen que tener su conversación finalizada. So let's start. Okay. Let's start right now. Let me put you in groups. There is, there are going to be, let me see here. Okay, two per group and let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Choose your group, please. And G. De dos en dos estamos. Sí, de dos en dos. Ah, ok. Ok. Vamos. Vamos a hacer el, el ejemplo, ¿verdad, teacher? Um, Your own right. conversation. Right over there. La conversación completa la vamos a trabajar. Ahí lo único que les estaba enseñando es qué significa right over there porque era la primera vez que lo veían para que lo entendieran. Teacher, si uso, por ejemplo, si yo pregunto, excuse me, are you manager? Are you a manager? Uh -huh. Ah, a manager. Ok. Cuando le contesto, yo digo, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm. Eh, sería, sería, espera, ya, me lo voy a escribir. La pero, la pero, no se preocupe. Ahorita. Sería. Así. Um, Está correcto así. I'm the floor manager. Yeah, it is correct. Cuando ustedes utilizan the, the floor manager, right? están hablando de, un, de aquel floor manager en específico. Okay? Tienen que ser bien cuidadosos. Ahí ya conozco, cuando ustedes utilizan a en an, estamos hablando de algo en general. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, vamos a decir... Mm, excuse me, Claudia. Are you a supervisor? Are you a supervisor? No. Me, dígame, dígame que sí. Dígame que sí. Solo para el ejemplo. Yes. <coughs> yes, I am. Very good. Really. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Y él me dice, really. Y luego dice, yes, I am the supervisor in a doc, for example. Como, si se fijan, en la primera parte yo solo le digo que si es supervisora. Are you a supervisor? En la segunda parte, ya cuando utilizamos the, Claudia, the floor manager, the supervisor, nosotros ya no es algo desconocido, ya va a ser algo más específico. ¿Y cuál es la especificidad? Es que usted es la supervisora de ad hoc, no, cualquier, no solo una supervisora, me está explicando que es la supervisora de una compañía en específico. Entonces, da es cuando usted quiere hablar más en específico de algo. Por ejemplo, usted me dice, Silvia, are you a teacher? Yes, I am a teacher. I am the English teacher at English Corporativo. Right? ¿Ven la diferencia? Yes? Sí. Okay, very good. Sí. So, I will continue working here. And I see you in a moment. Um, over there, are you uh, 
Con time. Perdón. Right over there. Uh -huh. And are you content? Content. Do you mean accountant? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, Alice, una pregunta, Brian. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, Sigo yo con una otra pregunta. Hay una pregunta a ella, correcto. Mm. ¿Qué le preguntaría? <ríe> Porque aquí solo dice yes I am, pero uh, sigue para abajo la opción B. Deme un Ajá. minuto, deme un minuto. Ok. Sí, porque yo creería Ajá. Que, que ella tendría que preguntar where. Sí, where salió. Lo que pasa es que para continuar la conversación. Sí, tendría que preguntarme where. ¿Dónde? No, aquí también. Uh -huh. Where. Y yo le tendría que decir, bueno, le diría, ¿dónde? Uh -huh. En Jiquilisco. Where do you live? O algo así. Mm -hmm. Ok. From Where do you live? Mm -hmm. Ay. Mm. No, 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 no. Es que no es así. Tell me the conversation. Yes, este, bye. Creo que quedaría... Eh, así, después que yo le digo yes I am, que yo soy uh -huh. a conta, ella me preguntaría where, o sea, ¿dónde? Uh -huh. Where, yo le respondería, exactly. Yo le respondería a eh, donde, de donde soy, ¿verdad? Bueno, aquí, ¿no? sí. Ok, no. Yes, it's something like that. It's something like that, Mario. Right? It's something like that. We are going to we're going to finish here and we're going to okay, share with you. Nelson? We are going to finish here and we're going to go with the others. Okay? Ay, disculpe, teacher, pero tengo problemas con el internet. Entiendo, Franco. Pasa. Vamos con todos ahorita para compartir las conversaciones. Okay. Okay, do you have your conversations ready? Yes? Okay, yes, I am ready. Okay, but you didn't create your conversation, Franco. Se no creó su conversación todavía. La debo de crear. Yes, yes. En un momento la creo, no hay problema, de todos modos. <laughs> Okay. Es que aquí tengo demasiado problema con el Inter. Okay. Now, let's start here. We're going to start with Eneida. Eneida, who was in your group? Se quedó congelada la imagen. Chicos, ¿me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, Eneida, you start. Who was your partner? Lo escuché cortado. Who was your partner, Eneida? 
You start. You're number one. You are on mute, Eneida. Demasiado mal esta cosa. Entiendo. Escucho cortado, no escucho. Chicos, ¿me escuchan bien? Ay, yo no escucho. Yes. ¿Eh? Yes, ok. Yes. Eh, let's start, Azalia. ¿Quién está con usted en su equipo? Who's in your group? Claudia. Azalia and Claudia. Let's start. But where is Claudia? Ah, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Okay, Claudia and Azalia. Let's start. Um, no terminamos <laughs> la conversación. Let's see. Let's see. Veamos qué tenemos. Excuse me, Claudia, are you nurse? No, I'm not. I'm a salesperson. That's in Caja de Crédito de San Agustín. Where? Right over there. And are you a nurse? Yes, I am. Really? Ahí nos quedamos, teacher. Really? No okay. Sé. What else? ¿Qué podrían decir después de really? Eh, pues, yes, I work in Hospital Nacional de Very good, very good. I, I work in the National Hospital. Very good, excellent. Get them an applause. Very good, very good. Get them an applause. We're gonna have the reactions here. Very good. And let's see here. Let's just start with Ileana. Ileana Gomez, who was your partner? Quien era su compañera, Ileana? Angela. Yo. Angela, okay. <laughs> Ileana and Angela, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, excuse me, are you Ileana Gomez? No, I am not. Yeah, I, I am, am Ileana Tak. I am I'm Mexican. Okay. Uh, where? Where? A written, written, or the day? Ah. Uh, me quedé ahí. Okay, léalo. Así en, como usted, no importa que se quede. Léalo. Give me a moment. Give me a moment, Angela. Lean. Okay. okay. Recuerden, okay. lo estamos leyendo. Todos somos nivel uno, sí. que no le dé pena. Sí. Léalo. Reader, order, taste, and added window. Okay. Um. Ajá. Um, yo usted era la verdad, yo era. <risa> ah, yes, allá Emiliana Gómez, creo que así era. Que no lo terminamos, teacher. Ok, don't worry, ok, very good. Ahí nos quedamos. Very good, very good. No, don't worry. Very good. Very good. Now, no. <risa> we continue here. We continue here with. Emerson. Emerson. Who was your partner, Emerson? Eh, eh, quiero ver, permiso, se me olvidó el nombre. Um, Eneida. Ay, Eneida tiene problemas con Inter ahorita. Okay, let's wait. Sí. José Alfonso. Who was your partner? Jennifer. La Jennifer, ahí se está riendo. Okay, Jose Alfonso and Jennifer. Okay. Let's see. Let's listen. Alfonso, you are on mute. Your microphone. Okay. Right. Jennifer, excuse me. No, I'm not injured. What? Te faltó formular la pregunta. Where? Te saltó, Alfonso. Ah, Empieza sí. de nuevo. Sí. 
Jennifer, excuse me, are you nurse? No, I am no. I am engineer. That's uh, that's in Usulutan. Where? Uh, right over there. Right over. Right over there. And are you a nurse? Yes, I am. Ahí lo quedamos, teacher. Yes, I am. Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent. Very good job. Very good. And Ada, can you listen right now? Yes. Hoy sí, ya vio lo que tenía sí, que sí, hacer. Sí. <laughs> Ada and Emerson, go ahead. Okay. No la completamos, nos quedamos en ese porque no entendimos la parte de, de, de que dijo del where. Ok, let's see. Ok. okay. Estamos. Are you a supervisor, Emerson? Y él me trajo. No, I am not. I am a secretary. That, that's a San Salvador. That's in San Salvador. Uh -huh. Where? Where? Y él me tiene que responder el otro. Bueno, justo hasta ahí llegamos porque la otra parte no la completamos. Ok, that's in San Salvador. Where in San Salvador? En es que Salvador. esa parte no la entendimos donde dice where, pero que la otra dice está ahí, entonces ahí no okay. lo vemos. Listen, he is a secretary. Ajá. In San Salvador. Where in San Salvador? ¿Dónde está San Salvador? Quería decir. ¿Dónde en San Salvador? ¿En qué lugar? Ah. Where. No vas a ser secretario de todo San Salvador a menos que trabajes en el canal. Ok, ok. <laughs> ok. <laughs> That's in San Salvador. Where, Emerson? Where do you work? La verdad no sé qué responder, soy sincero. Right, right over there. Right over there, ajá. Uh -huh. Where? Right over there. Uy, ¿qué me les pasó ahora este viernes? O andan cansados o andan tímidos, una de dos. Espero que sean cansados y no tímidos. Cansados. Cansados. Pensé, pensé que había bloqueado ese nivel yo con ustedes. <risa> Pero que está cansado y no tímido. Ah, ok. No, pues estamos en pandemia, dígale la mente. <laughs> Yo no. Ok. Now, let's think. We're going to have a conversation. Right? Este es un ejemplo de conversación. Son conversaciones simples. Ok. We're going to try. We're going to try. Eh, Claudia, ask me questions. Eh. Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. I am a teacher. Are you a nurse? No, I'm not. I'm a salesperson. Where? Eh, in Caja de Crédito de San Agustín. Really? Yes, that's in Chiquilisco. Where? That's in Hikilisco. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Have a nice day too. Simple, right? Simple. Very good. Where is to mention a place, a location, right? Is to mention a place. Where is the Caja de Crédito? In Hikilisco, right? When we ask where, it's a place in Hikilisco. Very good. Very good. Now, no se preocupen, seguimos practicando. Now, we're going to practice something que ayer lo empezamos por el señor Nelson, empezamos explicando esto. Right? Ahora vamos a seguir. Okay. okay. And we started with possessive adjectives. Right? Possessive adjectives and possessive Obvio. nouns. Ahora. Los y los nombres. I need you to pay attention. I will put mute. So I can explain, uh, and then you give me the examples, okay? And I need you to pay attention to what you can see on the screen. Can you see my computer? 
Yes. Okay. In my computer, it says possessive adjectives and possessive nouns. The possessive adjectives, right? They tell you where things belong to someone, right? Now, for example, the possessive adjectives describe when something belongs to you. For example, I can say my cell phone, my cell phone, right? My wallet, right? my wallet, my agenda, right? My, this is my, this is not yours, right? My. When I say your, it's for you. For example, I can say, this is, this is your class. This is your English class, for example, right? Yes. So all of this, if you look at this, each, each subject, si nos recordamos, anteriormente habíamos dicho que teníamos subject pronouns. Los subject pronouns eran estos. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. These are subject pronouns. Cada subject pronoun tiene su possessive adjective. Okay? Para I, está my. Para you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, they, their. Right? Que nos preguntaba el señor Nelson ayer, estos dos. My, your, his, her, it's, our, their. Right? Pero cuando vamos a decir directamente, esto es mío, es que yo es tuyo, esto es de ellos. Right? We can say, uh, we can say, for example, right? Azalia's headsets, right? Miren los headsets de Azalia, bien chicos, right? Those are her headsets. Look at this. Those are, those son los headsets. Those are her, los de Azalia, headsets. 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 Esos son headsets. Those are her headsets para Salia. Pero si yo quiero, por ejemplo, hablar de los de Alfonso, ¿cómo tendría que cambiar acá? Those are... Those are... His. His. His, his headsets. Very good. Very good. Those are his headsets. Right? Dependiendo del subject del que estemos hablando, right? Como era Azalia y es una mujer, utilizamos her. Cuando es un hombre y era José Alfonso, ocupamos his, right? So, that, those are the possessive adjectives. Ahora bien, tenemos possessive nouns, que los podemos ver acá. Los ejemplos, déjenme mostrar acá. How is the correct use of our cuando se ocupa? Ok. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Vamos a poner acá. Our, right? For example, we can say, Asalia, when we use our here, this is the subject pronoun, we. Right? And this is our. For example, we are going to say, we are in, we are English students, right? We are English students. Ustedes, vea, yo no. Digamos que yo también soy. We are English students. We. Nosotros somos. Right? Nosotros somos estudiantes. This is our Zoom class. Right? 
Es una clase. No es. Es de la clase. Esta es nuestra clase. Esta es nuestra clase. We are English students. This is our Zoom class. Sí. Right. Esta clase es de nosotros, no es de nadie más. Right? So, we... We are... Matches in... with our. Matches right? With our... I love cell phones. This, I love. this is my, is my new yeah, oops, cell phone. This is my new cell phone. Right? This is my new cell phone. Let me see. Okay. I love cell phones. This is my new cell phone. Right? This is my. I love cell phones. This is my new cell phone. Right? What? What? Alguna pregunta? No? Escuché a alguien que comenta algo. No, ninguna. No, no, okay. Teacher. No. Yes? Yes. Hey, hey. Yes, go ahead. ¿Cuál es su pregunta? En ese caso, ¿cuáles serían los, los adjetivos? Los subject, los verb y los complement. Oh, ok, no lo vamos a ver todos de un solo porque si no nos llevamos todo el mes. Ok. Sí, sí, sí. Ahorita estamos viendo possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives okay. only. ¿Por qué son adjetivos posesivos porque estas palabritas chiquititas acá estas acá están describiendo que algo me pertenece la función de un adjetivo es to describe things el adjetivo se utiliza para describir cosas, lugares, personas ok entonces en este caso este, estas palabras posesivas son adjetivos porque describen que algo le pertenece a una persona o a cierto número de personas. ¿Okay? En este caso, plural, y en este singular. ¿Okay? Por eso es que decimos que se llaman possessive adjectives. ¿Okay? And then in here we have subject, verb, complement, determinant, verb, possessive adjective, and then many things. ¿Okay? Yes. Aquí nos podemos ver un montón de horas hablando de una oración. ¿Okay? Mm -hmm. But in this case, we just go with possessive adjectives. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué son adjetivos posesivos? Porque describen que algo le pertenece a alguien o a algunas personas. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? ¿Good? Ok. Now, this is possessive. Entendido. Ok, good. Esperen, vamos a, vamos a parar un segundo para pasar la asistencia. Mm -hmm. Un minuto, un minuto, rapidito. Antes que me olvide, pasaron 20 minutos. Y no lo hemos tomado. Vamos a ver. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Ángela. Present teacher. Ok. Asalia Melanie Guardado Present Portillo. teacher. Asalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Claudia N. Ramos de Hernández. Present. Present teacher. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. David Ernesto. Emerson Present. Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Ok, le voy a poner mute para que solamente lo abran cuando, cuando eh, vamos a contestar, ok. Sorry. Eh, Eneida Jasmine Hernández Cruz. Present. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Present. Franco Damián Vázquez. Present. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Juan Josué. Leida Azucena Sorto. Leida Azucena, ok, thank you. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Present. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Present. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Pedrina, Ilian, Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present. Ricardo Gabriel Barenga Ventura. 
Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Presente. Daniel Antonio García Cortés. José Alfonso Palma. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Now, we have here, how is the correct use of it's? Oh, for example, give me a moment. Let me show you my computer here. When we have it, right? Remember that we have the subject pronoun is it. Then we have it. Let's talk about a dog right? or a cat. This, sorry. This is my cat, right? Este amiga, this is my cat. Its name is Michigan, como Michigan. Okay. This is my cat. Its name is Michigan. Right? El, el mío se llama Michigan. <laughs> Very close. This is my cell phone. Its color is pink. Do you see here, right? Do you see here the difference of the use of it? Right? ¿Cuál es el it acá? My cat. Right? Its name is Michi. This is my cell phone. Its color is pink. Right? Cuando decimos it, estamos hablando de la propiedad que describe esa cosa en específico. Is that clear now, yes. Claudia? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Now, this is only possessive adjectives. Please take a take a screenshot of the examples porque ustedes van a hacer lo suyo después. Take a screenshot of the examples. Go ahead, please. Take a screenshot. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Let's continue here with possessive nouns. Okay, here they are telling us about possessive nouns. What are we going to do with possessive nouns? Mine is a possessive adjective. No, mine no es un possessive adjective. Right. Mine is a possessive a possessive objective. Objective is different. Es un objetivo posesivo, pero no un adjetivo. Right? Now, we, were, we are going to talk about possessive nouns. Let me, I'm gonna cut this, just give me one second. Give me one moment. Okay, now that we have the possessive nouns here, I want you to pay attention here to the apostrophe, right? To the apostrophe. In the first example, it says, our, right? Tenemos un possessive adjective, possessive adjective. Our teacher's name is Sylvia, for example. Our teacher's name is Sylvia. If you can see on the example, right? In the example, how do we call this? How do we call this in, in red? Nuestro. Our, no, but what is the name that we just read? Possessive? Professor. Possessive adjective. Possessive adjective. Our is a possessive adjective. No, right? Okay, very good. Now, sin traducir, porque cuando traducimos esa parte nos vamos a confundir. Now, Our teacher's name is Silvia. Now, 
What we're going to do here is that this part, this El nombre de nuestra profesora es Silvia. Sí, pero no traduzcamos ahorita porque no, no, lo, tra ah, no lo traduzcamos okay. porque nos vamos a confundir. Ok, en esta parte si traducimos nos confundimos. Ahora, the possessive noun is here, in this part. This is the possessive noun. Ok, this part. The apostrophe and the letter S. Right. Esa es la parte posesiva. El apóstrofe y la letra S. Sí. Ok. Now, what happens here? Ese apóstrofe y esa letra, esa letra S significa lo siguiente. The name of my, of, sorry, the name of our teacher is Sylvia. This part sounds very Spanish. El nombre de nuestro profesor es Silvia. The name of our teacher is Silvia. So the name of, right? The name of is this. This is the long form. And in English, we don't use this, right? We're going to use this part. Now we are going to say, for example, eh, let me take a look at you right now. Let me see. Ladies, t-shirt, t-shirt is blue. Ladies, t-shirt is blue. Ladies, teacher is blue. We're going to say also, for example, miren a Leida, miren a Leida, right? Miren a Leida, right? What am I describing from Leida? Right? Blusa, uh, okay. la camiseta, okay. The t-shirt, okay, very good. No voy a explicar el mind, eh, Nancy, porque se sale de, del tema que estamos ahorita tratando de comprender. But podemos seguir explicando el mind, right? pero no el mind, porque si no se me va a, a confundir. Now, what do we have with Leida? Right? Leida's t-shirt is blue. The t-shirt of Leida is red. Red, no, it's blue. Is blue. Of Leida is blue. Right, Leida is blue. Es azul, ¿verdad? Tu camiseta. Bueno, miro. Yeah. Yeah. Yo pensé que era la suya. No, Leida, Leida. Ajá. Leida. Sí, que como usted le hizo con el nombre así, dije yo. Right? No, Leida, Leida. I'm talking Ajá. about Leida. Look at this. Este apóstrofe describe posesión de la persona a la que estamos, a, de la que estamos hablando. Uh -huh. ¿eh? De la persona a la que estamos hablando. En este caso estamos hablando de Leida. Leida. Right? Estamos hablando de Leida. En el caso de la primera oración que dice, Our teacher's name is Sylvia. ¿De quién estamos hablando? ¿De quién es la profesora? De Silvia. Silvia. Nuestro. Nuestra. Nuestra, very good, nuestra, nuestra. no de Silvia, right? sí, Silvia es mi nombre, pero ustedes, yes. ustedes están describiendo algo que es de ustedes, that's why you say nuestra our teacher. teacher's name is Silvia, exactly, very good, now Nelson can say, podemos decir por ejemplo, Nelson's door is purple, Right? Nelson's mm. door is purple. The door of Nelson is purple. Mira ya, morada la, la puerta que tiene atrás. Right? Nelson's door is purple. Right? And that's with colors. Right? We can say also, uh, let's see here, Claudia's Claudia's job is in Tiquilisco. Claudia's 
job is in his list of Claudia, no. The job of no. Claudia oh, is in yeah. his job. Exactly. Very good. Claudia's job is in Hikilesco. Very good. Right. Very good. And that's what we want to say here. And that's those are the examples, right? That they give us. For example, I can say, Enedas, Enedas last name is Fernandez. Mm -hmm. The last name of Eneida is Fernandez. The last name of Eneida is Fernandez. Now, what are we going to do here? What do we need to pay attention to as well? We need to pay attention to the following information. Look at this. I'm going to put more here. When we have, oh, ¿qué le pasó a este chuncho? When we have, for example, when we have, for example, here, pay attention. When we have only one person, right? For example, Eneida is one, right? Eneida's last name is Hernandez. Acá, y quiero que pongan atención a esta parte. Okay. Acá solamente estamos hablando de una persona. ¿Quién es esa persona? Who's that person? Neida. Right? Neida. Estamos hablando solamente de una. Fíjense el ejemplo que nos da el libro. Dice acá. Permita. ¿El Franco puso el micrófono? Esto me, me falla. De repente. Ok, no lo encienda ahorita, Franco, no lo encienda. Now, pay attention to this. Melissa Endora's last name. Aquí tenemos dos cosas. Le vamos a poner por lo mismo. Melissa Endora's. Oh, in this case, I think it's. Look at this. Vamos a hacerlo así con alguien de nosotros aquí. Claudia and Silvia's last name is Ramos. Right? Claudia's and Silvia's last name is Ramos. When we have more than one person, for example, here, how many people we have? Claudia. In Sylvia, we have yeah. two people. We have two people. When we have two people, we are going to put the apostrophe right, in the second name. Okay? In the second number. No vamos a hacer esto. Claudia's and Sylvia's, no. Only in the last one. Okay? Solo en el último. Así como está el ejemplo. Miren también. Acá, Melissa Endoras. Melissa Endoras. No dice eh, Melissa Endoras. No, solamente uno. Right. Claudia y Silvia. Ya, coge. Si fueran tres personas, three people. What do you think? Claudia and Claudia Nelson and Sylvia's class is at night. It's the same. Siempre sería la última que It's always at the end. Yes. It's always at the end. Exactly. When we have, when we have a person, a person that their name ends with an S, right? Their name ends with an S. What we're going to do is that we are not going to add the letter S, right? For example, we have a Tengo, no, no tengo. Okay. 
for example, the students English class starts at 8 p.m. Okay. The students English class starts at 8 p.m. ¿Qué ven acá? ¿Qué ven en este ejemplo? En el último. The students English class starts at 8 p.m. What can Como you see? Como termina en S, el apóstrofe eh, se pone después de la S, pero no se pone en la S. Very good, Nelson. Excellent. We are, it, what Nelson says is correct. We are not going to do this. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, big no, no. Big no, no. We, we just do this. Si es, no solamente si son plurales, es el plural. The students English class starts at 8 p.m. Es plural. Entonces ya por default, ya nos dice, mira, pone el apóstrofe al final. No le agregues otra S. No va a servir de nada. Pero si le pongo el apóstrofe, ya sé que the English class of the students starts at 8 p.m. ¿Right? Si tenemos un nombre que termina en S, no me recuerdo ningún nombre que termina en S. I don't remember. Jason. ¿Ah? Jason. Jason. Jason termina no. en N. M, M. Carlos. Carlos, thank uh -huh. you. Carlos. Carlos. We say Carlos. Carlos birthday. The complaint of Carlos. Carlos birthday is on May. Carlos birthday is on May. Si ya sea plural o ya sea singular, no importa. La regla aplica con las palabras que terminan en S. Hacemos lo que Nelson explicaba. Solamente ponemos el apóstrofe al final de la palabra. Y ya vamos declarando que esa oración tiene un posesivo. ¿Ok? ¿Es this part clear? ¿Tenemos yes. los ejemplos claros? Tell me. ¿Do you have questions? Yes. ¿No questions? Do you have questions? Preguntas? No questions. Okay, so please copy the examples or take a screenshot. Take a screenshot of the examples, please. Okay. Take a screenshot. ¿Le tomaron un screenshot a todo? ¿Sí? Yes. Ok, yes. Let's just stop sharing here. And we will continue. Now, let's see. Let's see the possible answers to the exercises. Uy, nos falta un montón. Ok. Look at this information and tell me the answers. What would be the answer here? And I need you to I need you to write information in the chat. It says your teacher's name, right? That's what we're going to ask. Ask a partner to spell the following information and write it on the spaces. Use capital letters for proper nouns. We are going to practice what? We're going to practice the spelling, right? Your teacher's name. Yo me llamo Fiorella ahorita. Ahí lo deletrean. Right. So, a classmate's occupation. Your classmate's name, a classmate's last name. What is the question that you can ask for number one? Estamos hablando para deletrear. ¿Cuál es la pregunta que podemos hacer? What is the question that we ask for spelling? Si queremos saber cómo se deletrea algo, ¿cuál es la pregunta que hacemos? How do you spell your teacher's ¿Cómo se name? Llama? How do you spell your teacher's name? Very good. How do you spell your teacher's name? How do you spell your classmate's occupation? 
How do you spell your classmate's name? Classmate. How do you spell your classmate's name? I just play a classmate. Last name. Right? I can say, Franco, how See? do you spell your last name? My last Teacher. name is... Angie, continue, Franco. My last mm -hmm. name is F... Uh, pardon. Uh, oh. B A S Q U E C. Very good. Angela, how do you spell Nelson's last name? Uh, Nelson last name. Mm -hmm. Um excuse me. Nelson. Uh, M N mm -hmm. E C Last name yeah. Pereira. Exactly, very good. His last name is Pereira. How do you spell that, Angie? Excuse me, teacher, que he estado con la señal mala. De hecho, me, me sacó el link. Ah, la pregunta. How do you spell Nelson's last Hello. name? No, how do you spell Nelson's last name? Nelson, o sea, el apellido. How do you spell Le Nelson? El apellido, ajá, no, no. Pero el Nelson. <ríe> Porque mírele ahí el nombre, ahí lo tienen todos en oh, sus nombres. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ajá, Nelson, Nelson. Okay, excuse me, Nelson, no lo había visto, es que Continúa, Nelson, Brian, ¿eh? que no, uh -huh. no me sale todo. Okay. Uh, N N A L S O N. Oh, excuse me. No me sale su apellido, Brian. Y... Nelson. Okay. Don't worry, Angie. Let's stop. Es que no lo puedo ver el, el, el apellido don't worry, Nelson. Angie. Don't no worry, veo, Angie. No Nelson. Angie, don't worry. Okay. Take it easy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Jose, how yeah. do you spell your last name? My last name? Yes. Your last uh, name. Your last name. Uh, I L F O N C O C O F O N C very good. Angie, Angie, how do you spell your first name? How do you spell your first name? name? Mm -hmm. Um A M G E L a. Very good, very good. Excellent, very good. Now, we are going to practice spelling with this small practice here. Let me show you my computer one more time. Let me show you my computer. But we want, I want to show you something else. Para completar lo que estamos haciendo los possessive adjectives. Ahora. Con el comentario. No van a entender todo lo que yo les diga. Eso es normal, chicos. Recuérdense lo que yo les dije el primer día. No van a entender todo lo que yo les diga. Si entienden el 30% de lo que yo les digo, me asombraría. ¿Ok? Estamos en módulo 1. Pero yo no les puedo dar toda la clase en español porque si no, no van a aprender. Right. 
Mi deber sí. es ir aumentando el nivel de inglés cada día que va pasando. Right? Si yo no Thank les you. hablo en inglés, no van a aprender. Porque si no, yo me confundo. Y, mi, y mi, lo peor que mi español es bien salvadoreño. Así que peor van a quedar. Right? So, my job, my job is to make the classes difficult every day. Si ayer les hice, les hice la, la clase difícil, hoy se la voy a tratar de hacer un poquitito más difícil. Y así, todos los días, todos los días, todos los días. Porque si yo les hablo en español, aunque sea en módulo 1 y se les hablo en español toda la clase, cuando vayan al módulo 2 con otro profesor, van a sentir que no aprendieron nada. ¿Right? Y ahí en el módulo 3, y si les seguimos hablando en español, no van a aprender nada. Después van a tener un, un inglés así ni a medias, porque le podamos dar la clase en español, ¿ok? Entonces, no se preocupen si no entienden. Like I said, si entienden un 30%, yo diría, ¡Ah, wow, me entendieron 30% y son módulo 1. Oh, my God. ¿Ya? Si usted me entendió, que le dije? Name, y usted dijo, ah, nombre, algo del nombre me está preguntando y eso lo voy a responder, ¿right? Eso es lo que tienen que ustedes ir haciendo. Ir atrapando palabras de lo que yo voy hablando ¿Verdad? Para ir tratando de comprender el significado de lo que yo voy diciendo. Otra cosa, si ustedes traducen la clase toda en su cabecita, les va a costar más, porque la estructura de inglés es bien diferente a la estructura en español. La de inglés es así, directo, al grano. Y en español es más bonito, así más, más abierto, con más opciones. ¿Right? En inglés no, así es y punto. ¿Right? So, es normal que nos sintamos que estamos llegando ya a la luna. Sí, ahorita es normal, más que bien. Ahorita es normal que no me entiendan nada. Right? La otra semana vamos a hacer una conversación y decir, ¿Ah, qué? ¿How do you spell what? ¿Qué dijo? ¿Qué es eso? Right? But don't worry. Pero, eso sí, yo voy a tratar de hacerle las clases un poquito difíciles todos los días. Right? Aunque sea 10 minutos que terminamos antes, puede ser bien. Ah, no. No, 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 no va a pasar. <laughs> no va a pasar. <laughs> ok, let's continue. I'm going to show you something para ver lo que Nancy me decía, para ver un poquito más de ejemplos. Ok. And look at this. Can you see my computer now? It says possessive adjectives, right? And this is the explanation of possessive adjectives. It says that they are words that modify a noun to show a form of possession, like something is mine, a sense of belonging or ownership to a specific person, animal or thing. Possessive adjectives that are used in the English language are my, your, our, it, is. Her, his, and their. Each one corresponds to a subject pronoun. Right? What is it? Subject pronouns, possessive adjectives. Right? And then we have examples. Look at the examples. Can you see the examples? For example, it says, I have a shirt. My shirt is green. You have a book. Your book is new. He has a pillow. Así donde se van a dormir. He has a pillow. His pillow is soft. Sí, bien rica, bien suavecita. She has a dog. Her dog is small. Okay. Recuérdense que acá, acá, En esta, no nos confundamos con el it, right? Porque it sí es un dog, pero aquí estamos hablando de ella. She has a dog. Her dog is small, right? It has a bone. Its bone is all. El perrito tiene un hueso. The dog has a bone. Its bone is all. We have a bird. Our bird is noisy like, right? You, you have a house. Your house is big. Right? 
they, oops, sorry. They have a car. Their car is slow. Say, so they have a car. Their car is a Toyota. For example, right? Si vemos acá, cada uno de los possessive adjectives tiene su correspondencia con el subject pronoun. Entonces, estas oraciones como que fueran unidas. I have a shirt. My shirt is green. Tengo una camiseta. Mi camiseta es verde. Right? Complementamos la información. Ya no solamente nos quedamos con una oración simple. Right? Puedo decir, I have a laptop. No, my computer. I have a laptop. My laptop is old. My laptop is old. Entonces vamos a los uh, possessive adjectives nos ayudan a unir y dar más información acerca de una oración simple que ya creamos. ¿Ok? ¿Se entendieron los ejemplos? ¿Sí? Yes, sí. Les voy a poner otra vez los ejemplos yes. para que les tomen un screenshot o pues no sé si les tomaron una captura de pantalla y los tengan y traten ustedes de escribir sus yes, propios teacher. ejemplos para el lunes. Okay. Sus propios ejemplos, traten de escribirlos. Siguiendo, siguiendo esta lógica, let me, let me show you the computer again. Okay. Please uh, take the screenshot. Yeah? Are you ready to continue? Yes, teacher. Okay, very no good. Teacher. No yet? No, no okay. teacher. Yeah, Lisa. This moment. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Now yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Now. The same happens with the possessive nouns. Look, these are the same examples. A possessive noun is a noun that possesses something. It has something. In most cases, a possessive noun is formed by adding an apostrophe plus the letter S to the noun, or if the noun is plural, right? And already ends in S, only an apostrophe needs to be added. Esto que nos dice que este possessive noun, porque este es el noun que tenemos. Teacher es un noun, es un nombre. Un nombre, un noun en inglés es algo que nombra algo, identifica algo. Nouns identify things, places, eh, people, animals, many things. Right? Todo lo que nosotros conocemos es un noun. Todo, todo. Fields, agenda, mug. Computer, wall, cell phone, everything. Todo lo que nosotros podemos nombrar es un noun. ¿Ok? Y ese noun a veces tiene una cierta posesión. Para eso se utilizan los possessive nouns. ¿Ok? Now, let's look, look at the example. Apple sticks. Books cover. The book, the books cover is pretty. La pasta de libro está bonita. Right? The book's cover is pretty. Right? James uh, houses, houses roof is damaged. El techo de la casa se dañó. Right? And then we continue with other examples. Please take a screenshot of this. This example, yes. please. Okay. Sí. Very good. Yeah, yeah, ready? Ready. Yes, okay, very good. Okay, now, no se preocupen que no va a ser la única vez que vamos a ver los procesos de pronouns, ¿ok? Okay. Vamos a seguir trabajando con ellos la otra semana sin ningún problema. And with the spelling. Okay, and, well, we only have five minutes. In five minutes, we're going to do something. Let's take a look at these sentences. 
Look at the sentences. These sentences are on page 18 in your book. Open your book to page 18. I want to leave the page 18, por favor. Open your book to page 18. 18. 18. 18. And you can see some, some sentences. Let's take a look at the sentences. We are going to pay attention to the verb to be. Okay. Tell me the correct form of the sentences. Number one. We are marketing managers. Excellent job, Franco. Thank you so much. The correct way is we are marketing managers. Very good. Very good. Let me put it here. We are marketing managers. Very good. Now, Nelson. Do number two. She aren't Margarita Marroquin. Is that correct? No. What's the correct answer? Franco, your microphone? She, she is Margarita Marroquin. Okay, the sentence is in negative. I'm negative. She is a Margarita, Margarita Marroquin. She is a Margarita Marroquin. Nelson, your microphone. Póngalo en mute, por favor. Seguimos ahí que van a meter un gol. Póngalo en mute, Franco. Thank you. She is a Margarita Marroquin. Okay, very good. Azalia, number three. Natalia and Sarai is the new supervisors. Is that correct? Yes. Is that correct? Natalia yes. and Sarai is the new supervisors. Look at the verb to be, Azalia. Mira el she, verbo to be. Natalia and Sarai. Natalia and Sarai, is it plural or singular? Es plural or singular? Eh, sería plural. Plural, okay, it's plural, very good. If it's plural, do we use is or are? Yes, they, they are. Okay, Natalia, are. Natalia and Sarai. And Sarai. Uh -huh. What is the verb to be? Are. 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 Are, are they new supervisors? Are the new supervisors? Supervisor. Mm -hmm. Very good. ¿Por qué? Porque está en plural Azalia y Natalia en Sarai. Azalia a Natalia en Sarai. ¿A qué subject pronoun se, se, se conecta? Um, a, you, we, they, you, a cual. Uh, her. Give me a moment. No, no, it's okay. not her. It's not her. His. Her is, ah? Huh? His. 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 Son chicos. Mm -hmm. Natalia. Her. No. Um. They. 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 Very good. Alfonso. My yeah. boss are Jorge Sandoval. Is that is that correct? My boss. No. What's the answer? My boss is Jorge Sandoval. My boss is Jorge Sandoval. Okay, Sandoval. very good. Number five, Janet. Their secretary aren't Laura Miranda. Janet? Uh, hello, teacher. Hmm? Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, our, hmm? our secretary aren't 
No. Laura. Look at the verb to be. Estamos trabajando con el verbo to be. Mm. No sé, teacher. Their secretary. ¿Cuántas secretarias tenemos en esa oración? Ah. Una. One. Exactly. What is the verb to be that we have to use, Janet? Is. 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 Laura Miranda. No. Very good. We're just talking about one secretary. Please take a screenshot of this example. Yes, teacher. Take a screenshot. Okay, now we are going to finish here because it's 10 of one. I take a screenshot. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Very good. Now, before you go, before you go, let me call the attendance the last time, rapidito, antes que se vaya. And we are going to keep practicing. Vamos a, por favor, repasen la unidad uno de nuevo, porque de eso vamos a trabajar un poquito el lunes, unos 15, 20 minutos, y seguimos con la unidad dos. Pero necesito que también terminen todas las tareas ¿verdad? que tienen pendientes para esta semana. Let me call the attendance here. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present teacher. Claudia Yanel Ramos de Hernández. Present teacher. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Eneida Yasmín Hernández Cruz. Present. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Present. Franco Damián Vázquez. Franco Damián Vázquez. Present. Juan Josué Hernández. Leida Susana Sorto. Present. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Present. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Present. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present. Ricardo Gabriel Berenga Ventura. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Present. Daniel Antonio García Cortés. José Alfonso Palma. Present. Ok, very good. So, please complete your homework. Ya sus tareas deben estar terminadas para este día. Por favor, termínenlas para poder subir las notas de mañana. Y seguimos con la unidad 2. Ok, we'll continue okay. in unit 2 next week. Ok, then have a okay. beautiful weekend. And disfruten su fin de semana. And have a good night too. Rest las bueno. actividades de, bueno. de plataforma son las que deben de estar terminadas. Sí, correcto. Todo lo de plataforma. Hasta, hasta ahora o tenemos esta mañana. Ahora. Porque la última ahora. semana vamos a terminar el miércoles. Entonces vayan trabajando bien. No se vayan atrasando. ¿No? Ok. okay. Las de esta semana. Las de esta semana. No, las de esta okay. semana ya tienen que estar. No, hasta el miércoles de la otra. Ya va. <risa> Uh, ahí okay. aparecen, no. ahí aparecen las tareas, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí, ahí aparecen todas las tareas. Ok, guys, have a beautiful night. Take care. Good night. 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 Bye. 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 Take care.